8.53 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, date is 12 2012 we're gathered here today on a Saturday looking at the December 12, 2650 put on the NASDAQ 100. Here was the NASDAQ 100 value. The previous day here, when the NASDAQ 100 was up here at its higher lows here, and this is a NASDAQ 100 chart, a uh, weekly chart, because we always want to know where the weekly moves are. And we'll put up a daily chart in our platform, which is the MMT. And what we'll do here is this is a daily level, and we had a three-day reversal. But what we would like to point out to you, if you were buying the calls on the NASDAQ 100 here, when we were down at our lows at 2,500, they went all the way back up to the highs here. And the high was 2,699, right below 2,700. We had a reversal mathematically. We had the same reversal. So you had reversal one, and then you had a counter reversal mathematically in value. You broke up here to the highs, and this was the high on 12-12-2012. This is the daily bar. Here is the high in right at 2685 reversal and that wick right there each one of these lines represent $22.65 on a daily level that's what each one of those lines represent $22.65 and they are accurate right to the penny on the closing bell on Friday and we closed at 2628.0901 now when that fell from that value clear down here what ended up happening over here and here's a weekly chart I just wanted to pull this up just so you could have a little snapshot of it MMT outside of the daily is you can see that the weekly moving average is a crossover that 20 week so every time that this thing shoots up on that wick up there at that resistance level the high frequency trading algorithmic models that make transactions in milliseconds will have sell scripts and it will support your trade it'll go straight down you'll be making lots of money because the read up here at resistance but then the broader market on the equity side in the nasdaq 100 the, all of those equities the top beta equities like the googles the apples the price lines you got the netflixes in there you got the amazon you got baidu i can go on and on but the high beta ones they all sell at resistance and value meaning that the broader market goes down in value, these index options are, they pay a lot of money. And, and you can see that this is a 12-22-2012-2650 put on the NASDAQ 100. The dollar high value of that contract was $42,200. They had $11.40 range from that intraday low to that high but if you owned them and were in there, you've already doubled your money because you would have owned them before the move happens to here. 2190, there's the real move from the previous day's close. Not Friday's close, but Thursday's close. So Friday, you can see right here on this weekly chart on this NASDAQ 100 that you have fallen considerably in value. Now, this over here, which people don't understand. This is called a 2650 put chart. And the value of the contract over here at the time, and I'm going to go to the info tool and I'm going to let you know it was $154.60. That was on 11 16 of 2012. That is the opening value of those contracts. If you had 10 of them then, they were worth $154,600. If I go back over here and tell you that here, the contracts were $49.78, one day, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, only eight trading days, they reached a value from $49.78, so if you had 10 contracts, $49,078, to the high of $154,600 value on 11.16. People don't sell them up here. They gap down in value. Now they're only worth $77 a contract but they get really cheap depending on which directional price movement that this NASDAQ 100 chart is doing. If I'm going in this direction and I'm buying those puts, 
um, that's when these puts go up in value like this in those eight days. Okay, so understanding the directional price movement of the overall NASDAQ 100 and it closed, like I said, right here. So how do I know it's going to get down to 2520 and I've got a value down here and the half bar here on this daily level on 1116 of 2012, the half bar is $25.17, a tap of the value. And it went in that bull run. But now, if I know that this is going down in value, and I'm buying these contracts over here, which we are, they were $12.10. I am as wholesale dollar value, because if the people that own contracts up here, and they were worth $77,000, well, I'm buying them down here at $12,000. I am much more capital risk adjusted to the directional price movement within the NASDAQ 100 that gives me the ability to do what? Capitalize fully on the directional movement using, so what am I basically doing? I'm shorting the NASDAQ 100. Yes, the fiscal clip has been in play every single day. The headlines, this is what we call your Thanksgiving rally and part of your, your uh, Christmas rally that's already happened. Let's make that clear. And the Republicans and the Democrats have got to come to a deal. And if they don't come to the deal, well, we're going to come back down here and break these lows and even go lower. One of the things that we've been doing is based on where this ends up going is this $2,450 put. This is a one nineteen two thousand thirteen twenty four hundred and fifty dollar $2,450 put. Yes, it was awfully cheap. And that was 200 handles below that 2685 that I told you in the NASDAQ 100 value. And we have fallen $60 in value in the NASDAQ 100. But if I'm going to keep falling in value over time, then I would want these just like I'm buying these over here. These will take longer, but the values will keep gradually and incrementally going up in value as long as the following is mathematical ratios are descending in value when these values drop these particular nasdaq 100 puts just keep going higher and higher and higher in value so here's how it works this is where they were twelve dollars if we're buying down here at twelve dollars when the NASDAQ 100 was at 2685 reversal, rather it was on the weekly chart I just showed you, but here is the daily wick, right to the penny in our platform, to that line. Right to the penny, that's how accurate we are. And look at that reversal in value. So when you're buying those contracts at $14, they're now valued at $42 a contract. $42,000, you are making money. Because you knew what was going to happen. Not only that, you let all of the volatility come out of the contract, meaning all of the retail buyers and sellers were up in here. They never sold. The people that got lucky, if there was any, because not too many people know how to do what I'm teaching you right now. And I can promise you that. So, the other thing I can promise you, if I think these contracts can go back up here to $100, and I own 30 contracts, or just, well, listen, the trade is the same. The only difference is the zeros behind the volume. So dollar capital wise, I am totally wholesale down here, but my values are way up here. If I only, if these go back to $100, which I could do very really easily based on the markets selling off, they're going to do it. This is this trade. The bigger trade is the January contract because it gives us more time. We trade these short-term contracts for intraday capital gains. So if you had 10 contracts, they went up $16,900 in value. This is the truth. Is that what you want to learn how to do? I don't blame you. Took me a long time because I had to develop the platform that I can see which direction that those high computing cycles called robots in the exchange model high frequency we're masters in it the thing about it is is understanding the directional price movement 
that those machines are going to do in either a descending value, less value. Well, when you go descending in value, then your contracts go higher. It's that simple. Now, let's make this important because it's very important. And it's the entry and the directional price movement. It's the wholesale entry. If I'm a market maker, because that's what I am, and the school is that, and you're here for that, and here is the thing. If these contracts right here, these contracts can go right back over here. That's $77. The other highs on these contracts are $50. Depending on which directional price movement the NASDAQ 100 is doing, is to understand how price weakness builds in a topping pattern with with the Congress and Republican and Democrat and all of the other crap headlines that are coming out create these volatility movements in a high frequency computing cycle based on your headlines and that is another thing that people don't understand either humans used to trade headlines now there are software programs that pick up on these keywords on the headlines and then trade the direction of the index equity whatever whatever instrument it is they do it and they do it in high computing mathematical trend cycles so it's very important that once you surrender to the directional price movements you become market maker in this nasdaq 100 and these very contracts right here the 2450 january's i've already said that it doesn't matter what the republicans do if they pop the market anyway let them it's still going to sell in resistance because january everybody's going to think that january was like last year it gapped up and just kept running for several weeks higher I'm telling people right now that we have no logic in your politics. You have no logic in your negotiation stages within your White House structure and the various department heads that are involved in those uh, negotiations. They seem they can't work together. And it's been a perfect time to understand that markets go up in value and they go down in value. When they go down in value, this is where you want to be. And you're going to have to understand where those wholesale values are versus where the retail values were, the length of time, particularly when it comes to using the 2450 put. That's a 119. That's a regular monthly expiration. But short term, trading this contract getting your entries so what if you didn't get it at twelve dollars right here this is only three days ago folks these contracts were twelve ten and one day went by and the value went up to twenty nine dollars and ten cents on the high and on the third day value they went to forty two dollars and twenty cents on the high why because the nasdaq 100 as i told you again understanding the directional price movement the double topping pattern here when we came up we had reversal one then mathematically we went back up in value we went ascending we built a base it broke higher once it got up you can see where the diamonds are going lower and that's the reversal mathematically reversals build more weakness in there and they continue to gap down just like they gap up they have a tendency of when the math is descending in value they build a weaker price levels in the broader Nasdaq 100 and the exchanges are getting weaker volatility pops up you will sell it again and it makes lower lows that is by understanding where these values could go within 1222 because they expire they're weak uh, they're a monthly expiration and monthlies are coming due so the thing about it is this side of the tape was very cheap the put side the short side of the tape was the most wholesale side of the market because we'd already ran the rally the rally happened over here at the low okay right Thanksgiving week and and, and you know and, and this is all of the Congress all of these days in here 10 days of it headlines every day 
So we're building weakness and we can go all the way back down here. And if we do that, well, these contracts, who says that these 2650 puts don't go right back up to, here's the price. $154 was a high on 11-16-2012. Short term, you got highs in here. You got to get past the $50 mark. You got to get past the $62 high. And then you start getting up here, like I say, $61, $62. But here's the next good one. Uh, right around $97. The low was $77. And that's all going to be based on one thing. MMT. That value goes in that direction when you come down lower here. So when you come down and fill in these teeny lines right here where the gap was. Now you got to remember that on Monday each one of these lines are $22.95 in either upside volatility or downside volatility and or half of the upside and downside volatility. So directional price movement will be the final dictator of the values of these breaking higher and your values continue to rise over here because your wholesale here when the market was at the high you were wholesale the Nasdaq 100 they're still cheap because they can run to 77 they're just not as cheap you want to know how to buy down here and the only way that that's ever going to happen and this is being a market maker in indexes we do it in op options and equities as well. They're all on the site. So it's a lesson being well learned with new MMTs today. And it's about understanding the NASDAQ 100 value and where we're at in volatility. Yes, December is supposed to be the best part of the, the year, the second best part of the year anyway for equities. The thing about it is we've already rallied up, folks, and we've already tested the high. And when we couldn't break the high, folks, on the NASDAQ 100, my friends, when we rallied, we had that reversal like you should. The counter upside volatility, ascending value, goes up and tests the highs. And here we are three days later. So 26.85 down here is what's taken those contracts from $12.10 to $42.20. Once again, I'm making it very clear. So my new MMTs, I'm going to conclude this live video so that you're able to go back. Most people don't even understand what a put chart or call chart is. They're all on retail platforms. Um, this is the December monthly 2650 put. The other calendar monthly one is $119,213.2450 put, which is 200 points lower than 2650. You know what that means, folks? That means that Congress and yes, the markets can get real ugly and sell down to those previous lows. And I'm going to show you where they were on our platform. They're right here. They're right here. This was the high. The high was twenty six ninety nine, and that was on twelve three two thousand twelve. The low in the reversal here, that was on twelve six. That was three trading days, just three, and it went to twenty six twenty three point six two on the low, but the high that day was twenty six sixty three. So but the low is what counts and you can see from that low value here of 26.23, we rallied on up during this volatility days, right back up to 26.94, which had the gap down reversal, but then a test of that 26.85 down here, and then another gap down. That's where we closed. And if I'm going to go back down here, I have to know that if ever, so the movement is going in my direction. But if I know I'm going to break this low right here, this low was 2494.38. What date was that on? 11 16, 2012. That was the low. <clears throat> Mathematically, they tend to go both directions. They do it intraday in a three minute level, a 60 minute daily, doesn't matter. 
but they end up going mathematically if we keep descending then this whole bull trend is going to be neutral right about here so when we get right over here at 25 let's just call it right in here at these highs right here it'll be this date right here 1121 that high was 2604 that's going to be a little area of support because we have to mathematically break below these this daily app bar is let's see what it is 2595 that's on 1119 so the number is 2595 once we blow break below that and descending in value going lower then the value the value of the contracts will continue to rise and break higher highs they that was that high the next one is fifty dollars sixty two dollars and so forth and so on based on us coming down lower once again I'll conclude it on the daily NASDAQ 100 this is the diamond right here and so once again we welcome you to join us here and we welcome you to also spend a year with this here because these are the kinds of trades that we do and we understand the high frequency technologies we understand the manipulation and all the corruption within milliseconds, how they front run equity prices ahead of you before you can get into them. We understand all of that. That's why we built what we built was to track them. That's what those diamonds are. The diamonds are a complete replica of high frequency. This is the 154, uh, 2650 put, the low, $12.10, and the high. Well, we all know that, 154.60. So when I'm buying here wholesale once again, and I know where the broader, longer-term directional movement is, I can do well. I can come right up here in price on this contract and fill in that gap. Once again, this is the NASDAQ 100, 2012, December 22nd, yearly exit on a monthly 26.50 put. It's the last monthly expiration of the year of this particular contract and we're going right into that expiration with no conclusion in the bargaining table with the White House between both parties Republicans are standing their ground Democrats are standing their ground and wherever that middle of the true meaning of capitalism growth uh, lower taxes higher demand manufacturing ism pmis lots of different economic indicators have to happen we know all of those too and we'll be willing to train you how to use them correctly you cannot believe the way a lot of the numbers come out and they are you have to have a way to understand where you're at economically as well so we're done today on the nasdaq 100